From three Canadians or so to one Scott, Jock Scott to be precise. He's just brought out his first album of poetry called My Personal Culloden and no less a literary figure than Irvin Welsh has described him as, along with Iggy Pop and Pat Stanton, one of my all-time heroes. He's making just a few appearances at the Fringe, so we're delighted he could come along tonight. Let's hear it for Jock Scott. <laughs> The first one is called Farewell to Ferodo. <clears throat> oh, beautiful railway bridge over Leith Walk that I used to pass under on my way down to the docks. Alas, you are no more. Let us raise a furore and ask the city fathers what have you done this for? <laughs> I used to live right next door and felt that we had a certain rapport. Well, as much as a bridge and a man can. <laughs> you were awfully handy for Leithers to shelter under when it rained, and it's highly unlikely that Leithwalk will ever see you like again. With your big white letters spelling out F-E-R-O-D-O. I can't believe that artistically there was any reason for you to go. <laughs> so aesthetically pleasing, albeit in a rigid sort of way. <laughs> but, as usual, the city father's opinion held sway. What does Frodo mean anyway? <laughs> It's called Speaking in Tongues. It's about a cab ride squashed up beside you in the back of a cab together, you and I. You're taking me back, back to your place for the very first time. And I'm feeling just fine. In fact, I'm out of my mind. I can't believe you said it. Your place or mine. You had your tongue down my throat at the time. <laughs> Gifted linguist that you are. <laughs> speaking in tongues in the back of a car. <laughs> I was quite happy to venture into the unknown. I didn't want to leave you alone. Didn't give a toss when I got home. I had my hopes up high. Your hand was on my... Sigh. <laughs> if it wasn't for the double vision, I'd have given you the eye. <laughs> I thought you'd never ask, but then you did, at last. You took the word right out of my mouth. Thank you very much. venues around the festival, including the Gilded Balloon and the Palladium. Well, from an anarchic poet to...